ISRO is shining bright on the global stage with its cutting-edge solar research. You've probably heard of Aditya L1, India's first mission dedicated to studying the sun. But did you know that ISRO has just launched another exciting mission, Proba 3, in collaboration with the European Space Agency? Let's dive right into it and break it all down. On December 5th, ISRO's trusty workhorse, the PSLV C-59, lifted off from Sriharikota. On board were two satellites for the European Space Agency's Proba 3 mission. And what's cool about Proba 3 is that it's not just your regular satellite. It's actually two satellites, one called the Coronagraph and the other the Occulter. Here's where it gets fascinating. These two satellites will fly 150 meters apart, creating what's essentially an artificial eclipse. The Occulta blocks the sun's bright disk, allowing the coronagraph to take a closer look at the sun's corona, the sun's outermost atmosphere. Now, why is this a big deal for ISRO? Let's not forget the commercial and diplomatic side of things. The European Space Agency chose ISRO's PSLV rocket for this mission because of its reliability and cost effectiveness. And here's what its website says. India's four-stage PSLV XL launcher has been chosen because of its high performance combined with an appropriate price tag for a tightly budgeted technology demonstration mission. Now, don't forget, the PSLV has a remarkable success rate of 97% out of 60 missions. In fact, reports say that ISRO's PSLV competed with the likes of SpaceX and its Falcon rocket Russia's Soyuz 2, China's Long March 4 and South Korea's Nuri. And this is not the first time that PSLV has actually been used by the ESA. It also carried the Proba-1 Earth observation mission in 2001. This is also ESA's first collaboration with ISRO in over 20 years, highlighting India's growing reputation as a global space player. With missions like Proba-3 and Aditya L1, ISRO isn't just exploring space, it's showcasing India's soft power, technological prowess and commercial potential. Now you might be wondering, why do we care so much about the sun's corona? Well, the corona is where all the action happens. It's where solar storms, flares and coronal mass ejections originate. These fiery eruptions can travel towards the Earth at insane speeds, sometimes knocking out power grids, disrupting satellites and even causing travel chaos. Proba 3 will give scientists six hours of uninterrupted views of the corona, something we usually get only during natural solar eclipses that last for a few minutes. Now imagine getting 50 eclipses worth of data every year. Now let's connect the dots to Aditya L1, India's solar mission launched earlier this year. Aditya L1 sits at a special point in space called Lagrange Point 1, where it can continuously monitor the sun without any interruptions, no day, no night, just 24-7 sun watching. Now, Aditya L1 is studying phenomena like solar flares and CMEs. And fun fact, it recently captured a coronal mass ejection and helped scientists predict its trajectory. Now, why does this matter? Knowing when and where these CMEs are headed can help protect power grids, satellites, and even astronauts in space. And what makes Proba 3 special is that it isn't just about solar science, it's also a major technological breakthrough. The two satellites flying in perfect formation is no small feat. They'll maintain a precision of just one millimeter, that's the thickness of a fingernail. And this kind of precision has applications far beyond solar research. Think space docking, asteroid redirection missions, and even assembling structures in orbit. So what does all this mean for you and me? Well, every time you use GPS or browse the internet, you're relying on satellites. By studying the sun's corona, we're studying ways to keep these systems safe from solar storms and flares. Plus, missions like Proba 3 and Aditya L1 inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. They remind us that space exploration isn't just about reaching for the stars, it's about solving problems here on Earth. Needless to say, ISRO is proving that India isn't just participating in space exploration, it's leading the way. And while the sun might be 150 million kilometers away, ISRO is bringing us closer to understanding all its mysteries.